Hello everyone, welcome back to Gajroy Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix my hero Ultra Rumble is having crashing at startup it is not launching or won't launch freezing, structuring, lagging low FPS drop, stuck overloading screen and even the black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround so the game is over here right now as you can see so the game is actually free right now so you just can download this and if you're having the trouble let's move to the workaround the first one is all about when you're having this particular trouble all we have to do is we just need to do a restart on your system so just go over here in the start click on this particular icon go over here in the power icon and go for a restart once the restart is done try launch the game and that is what we have to do so restart is what we have to do and restart will be working fine that is what you have to do as the first step next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, launch the game from the installation folder so most of us will be launching the game from steam so that is why many users end up in having the issue so we can launch the game from the installation folder so we have two method one is a shortcut from the steam so i'll be showing you both just go over here in the steam right click we have to go to the properties now go for install it file and just click on the browse so that will redirect you to this particular folder that if you check at the top that is this pc new volume d steam library steam apps common my hero ultra rumble so now we just need to launch the game so you can go to the engine go for binaries go for win64 or you'll be having the application over here and if you go to the content you'll not be able to see just go back once again So uh, this one is what the application go to third party will not be having. So just go to Win64. So this is the application. So just launch the game from here. So most probably when you launch the game from the installation folder, it will be working fine. So if the game is uh, apart from the Steam shortcut, we can also try one more step, which I mentioned. That is all about we have to use the file explorer. So just go to the file explorer, go to this PC and go to the new volume D go to steam library go to steam apps go to common same way we have to go over here in the folder my hero ultra rumble select this application engine go for the binaries win64 and launch the game so uh, i'm showing you both the method you can try this out so after launching the game from the installation folder if you're still having the issue then you can try few more steps one among them is all about we have to run the game as an administrator so hence we're in the installation folder i'll be showing you this so just go over here, right click on the application, go to the show more options and go to the properties, go to compatibility and just click on run this program as the administrator and make sure this is very important and go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. Once afterwards, we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to run the game on compatibility mode. So hence we are in the installation folder. That is why I'm showing you all the steps over here itself. Just right click over here and go to the show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility and click on run this program in compatibility mode. Set this to windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok or you can set this to windows 8, go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game. Once afterwards, just go back, try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, do not worry try out these coming steps and one among them is all about we need to set the date time and region this is very important so just go over here in the search go over here in the settings now from here we have to go to time and language go to date and time first make sure the time automatically and time zone automatically should be turned on this is very important and we have to turn this on now go back go to language and region now from here you can see you have to set this to uh, over here you can see the country or region make sure that you have selected the appropriate country according to your geography which means if you're from united states you have to select united states if you're from united kingdom you have to select united kingdom so do according according to your need and once afterwards just close this go back and check next step is all about you can try is we need to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this did work it for many of the users in my knowledge for the games like spider-man morales remnant 2 ratchet and clank rift apart even for these it's all worked so you can try just launch the game 
the moment you launch the game you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard and that will be helping guys out as well next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file so just go over here in the file explorer go to this pc go to documents and over here you will be able to find the folder so you have to check if you don't find the folder do not worry just go over here in the my games and check whether you are able to find the folder over here also most probably it will be saved inside this my games so if you find the folder delete it and keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions of the game when you do this and you have to keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions and once after done with this one just close this we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to window security for this reason we have to go over here in the search we have to go for control panel now from here we have to go to system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and navigate to the game so uh, the name of the game is like you said my hero so uh, we need to scroll down and navigate to m over here somewhere else you will be able to find it so over here you can see uh, if you scroll down this is my hero ultra rumble is already there make sure the private and public both has to be selected so here it is selected by default so next question is imagine the game is not here so what we need to do is we just need to add it by default so just click on the change settings go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local disk d go to steam library steam apps common now from here go to my hero ultra rumble go for engine go for binaries win64 select this one and go for open add it so once you add it we just need to make sure the both the private and public has to be selected once afterwards just close this we have to go back see whether the issue is solved or not if that is not the case let's move to the next one that is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so most of us might be connected with you know controllers joystick logitech wheels even many more things might be connected to our system so which even causes some sometime these kind of issue so remove everything from there once you remove everything launch the game once you get into the game and game is working fine and if you wanted to continue the game with the controller just connect it back and try launch the game and that will be working fine as well next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that is all about we need to uh, close all the overlay application that is very important step so just go over here in the start right click and we have to go over here in the task manager right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so there are 57 apps running in the background and all these are actually utilizing the performance and that is why we are having the crashing issue so just remove all these things because when you launch the game simultaneously at the same time these things are running in the background that is why we are having the crashing issue for me it is fine because i'm having 32 gb of ram and i'm having a good graphics card for me this is fine but those users who are trying to play the game with four to 8 GB RAM they will be having definitely the nightmare so just remove unwanted things for example discord which comes with the category of overlay application revartuner msa afterburn etc which comes with the category of overclocking application one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue remove everything once you're done with this one just go back try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot and that is what we have to do so just go over here in the search we have to go for a system configuration search for system configuration now from here we have to go over here in the services go for hide all microsoft services go for disable all go for apply and go for okay they're gonna ask you restart so the users who are watching this you have to go for restart but i'm gonna go for exit without restart because we're in the middle of obs with shooting so i'm gonna go for exit without restart once after the restart is done try launching the game Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay. So just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties. Now from here we have to make sure this is if it is enabled we have to disable this. Once afterwards try launch the game if that is not working we have to move to the next one. That is all about this is a different step where we have to give the commands in the launch option. The first command is dx11 give the command dx11 try launch the game. If DX11 is not working, try with DX12 and try launch the game. So either DX11 or DX12 will be working fine and you can try with uh, try with this. And once afterwards, try launch the game and afterwards see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the game. 
sorry in the search and we have to search for uh, graphic settings or you can search for graphic settings like this go over here in the graphic settings now from here as you can see there are a lot of games i have already added by default so just click on the browse now from here go to this pc and the game so if the game is installed on c we have to select c if the game is installed on d select this one go for d because it is in d steam library steam apps common go to the game my hero uh, have to be selected now from here we have to select the respective one and once it is added we have to go over here go to the options and we have to by default this is be let windows decide change this to high performance and we have to save it once afterwards close this go back try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search we have to go over here search for view advanced system settings view uh, sorry yes view advanced system setting open this go for advanced tab go for settings go to advanced go for change and make sure this particular page is blank and we have to select the local disk where the game is installed in my case it is d i have to select this one and go for custom size go for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so go over here we need a calculator so just type this and type your ram so the ram of my computer is 32 gb so that is why i'm typing so the users who are watching this you have to type your ram once you type your ram multiply it with 1024 and we have to go over here 32 768 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that is 49152 and copy this and we have to paste it next one that is maximum size that is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98304 copy this and we have to paste it so once you set the value over here just go for okay everything should be okay and once afterwards try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card which is a very important step so I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. So the NVIDIA users have to go over here. So from here, you have to select your details like your product type, product series, product, operating system, language, etc. So over here, if you're on Windows 11, you can select every details over here and go for start search, which is very important. And once afterwards, if you scroll down, you'll be able to find it. So uh, you'll be able to find this result and based on this you have to download the driver version 537.42 which is the latest released version on September 21, 2023. So download this, install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here and select every details over here and we have to go to the submit. And from here, once you go over here, we need to go over here in Windows 11, download this particular one if you're on Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, we can download this one and we have to download and install this. So select this one so we can download and install this afterwards, try launch the game as well. So uh, you can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++, so I'll be providing link in the description, do not worry. So keep scrolling down. If the system is based on x86, we have to download this one. If the system is based on x64, we have to download this one. This is very important. Once after uh, installing, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game and that will be working fine. So this is what you have to do. Next one is all about, we need to uh, do is, we just need to uh, uninstall and reinstall the game. This did work it for many users, so just go over here in the game. Go to the game, right click, go to the manage, uninstall the game. Keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back, it should not be on local disk D, it should be C or E. If you uninstall the game from a particular local disk, try installing it back on any other local disk and that will be working fine. So these are the possible workaround which can be done and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.